2021 Rogue SL with the premium package. Today we'll be looking at the exterior, interior, and safety features of this vehicle. First we'll be starting with the exterior and the safety features. So let's take a quick look around the vehicle. This is a 2021 model. This is the front of the vehicle. The the 2021 and the 2022 have a major difference in the exterior. The exterior has been changed. So hey everyone, this is the key for the car. If mm. it's cold outside, uh, you can press this button. It's a remote start button. It will start the vehicle. This is lock. This is unlock. The thing about this is it has two dots, so you can like see, um, sense it without hard, like seeing it. This is a trunk. This is the alarm. It also has this key which goes in right here if you want to unlock it i'll put it right back the car comes with two keys mostly this is the key next we will go on into the interior so i can come right here and press this it will lock if i press it again it will unlock this is the interior The interior is pretty cool. It has a big display screen, heated steering wheels. I'm gonna go into the inside of the car right now. So I'll just pull this. And ta-da! It looks really neat in the in interior and it just looks like beautiful. Hi so, everyone, this is the interior of the Nissan Rogue 2021 SL Premium Package. This is the start button right here. So I had to press this and the brakes and then it will start. This is a nice place to put your phone. It's not a wireless charger though. It comes in the Platinum, but not in the SL Premium. So this is the steering wheel. It's wrapped in leather. It looks pretty cool with the leather. There's also USB ports right here too. And there's also a charging port. This is the AC controls. It's a tri-zone climate control. That means the driver can like set their temperature and the passenger can set theirs and the rear can set theirs. So technically like I can have it 71 on this side and the other person can have it 80 on that side and the rear can have it like 90. So like this is the driver side. This is the passenger side. This is the rear. The steering wheel is heated and the seats are also but it's only the front two seats that are heated 
This is the climate control for the rear. This is the fan. This is how you want it to be like if it if you want it to come to the leg or like if you want it to come like over here. This is the windows. There's like good space for the leg room and stuff. There's also a storage right here. You can just like keep stuff like um the manual. There's a manual right here. So I'll close this. This is the gear. So this is, it's in parking right now. I had to press this button and then change it to um, rear neutral or drive mode. There's also these two, auto hold, parking brake, and there's drive mode. So if I do this, it changes to, um, you can change it economy, standard, or sport. Sport increases your um, speed and economy uh, saves fuel. This is the control panel on the steering wheel. This is the horn. This is a side panel. You can control the windows and you can control the mirror. You can set where, you're, where you want your seat to be like one and then it will go back into and if I press one again my seat's actually moving so this is the dashboard basically so I can increase volume here And this is the on and off button for this. You can scroll with this, like um, it changes the FM as I go. This is pretty big for like a normal car. So I can press this. There's like traffic, sports, fuel prices, stocks, the weather, and everything. This is day mode, night mode. This is um, play. This is the audio. You can connect stuff, you can go to source. This is the menu, like, where if you want to go, like, home. This is the map. This is really cool because, like, as you go, it shows you points of interest, like, Starbucks. I can just, like, press a coffee shop and then, like, you can, like, see all of them listed. The cool thing about this is it's not, like, complicated to use, like, other GPS systems. I can go to camera. So this is the front. This is a 3D view from top. And then I can press this again. This is the passenger side. And this is the front. If I put it on rear, then it will show me the back. I can press this again. There's back. I can go to menu. So this is a cup holder right here. It's pretty cool. There's this stuff you can play around with. And there's also this storage. You can just open. The nice thing about this is it opens, like unlike normal cars that come out like this, it opens like this. So it's like fascinating to just watch it. It comes in, there's wood right here, which makes it look pretty cool. There's also both speakers, which increase the sound effect. There's one over there, there's subwoofer, and another one right here. So this is technically the front of the vehicle. And there's also a sunroof at the top. So I can press this, and it will open. There's also another button I can press and the window opens. The, the fun thing about this is like it lets the light in so it doesn't like most cars look like dark inside sometimes but like there's light inside which makes it like happier I guess. So I can close it with one button. And then I can also press this and tilt it a little and close it.
There's also this SOS button right here. So if I press this, there's a button right here. I can hold it and it'll call 911. This is the lights. I can turn all the lights in the car on and off. This and like, this is if the door opens and stuff. There's this. You can store like your sunglasses in here. There's also this. Like it protects you from like the sun, I guess. I have a garage door opener right here. That's it. This is the front of the uh, Nissan Rogue SL Premium. So now I'll go. This is the rear seat of the Nissan Rogue SL Premium. It has leather seats. There's also the door handle. It's pretty nice. It's like, it has like this silver thing around it. There's also a sunshade you can like pull up and like if the sun is really bright outside, you can like pull this up for the second row. There's leather seats. It's really comfortable in here. There's a lot of leg room in this car. These are the lights. So I can turn this on and off. The, the middle seat, you can pull this and store the water bottles in here. The car alerts you if someone takes off their seatbelt in the second row. There are speakers right here. There's also this container and this door handle right here. This is the window. There's this where you can store stuff in here. This is the AC, you can like adjust it. There's also this where you can control it. It's in sync right now, I can do this, this. This is the charging ports. The nice thing about this car is this is in leather. You won't get this in the SB. This would be in cloth in the SB, but for the SL, it's in leather. It, it feels really nice when you touch it. So this is the second row. It's really comfortable in here. And you can like see the front. So if you're in the middle, you can like see the front and have a nice view. The sunroof is really nice to enjoy. This is the camera. It's a, there's also, there's a 360 and a rear camera. So this is the sunroof, which is pretty nice to enjoy on like sunny days and rain days. It just like looks cool. This is the tailgate of the car. So I mean, I can just open it like this. I need to have the key in my hand. This is the, the cargo space. There's a first aid kit right here. There's like this uh, hole in here to like store small stuff. You can lift this up and do this. And you can put it back like this. You can also take this up. And then there's the tire right here, the spare tire. And I'll put it back. So there's a tire jack in here. There's lights. You can turn on. There's a lot of cargo space in here. So um, you can pull the seats back like 
you can fold the seats like this or using this so I can just do this and then it will fold there's also this latch right here you can like hook stuff on and there's also one right there you can also add accessories like a cargo cover this is for the cargo cover and there's also a charging port right here which you can close this is where you hook for something like a car seat Hi everyone, so we're gonna drive, take this for a test drive. The driving is really smooth. There's not a lot of sound on the inside like whenever the car moves. So it's like really smooth on the inside. The drive is really smooth though. 